Everyone, thanks for joining us at the Bouncing Act of Life with TLB TV. We are so excited today to finish up uh, with Mama, who I, I call her Mama, but her name's Melinda. And you know her already from gluten, and you know her from our previous episode one with the essential oils and all that she had to tell you of you know um, of her experience and her family's experience with the oils, and she has many other you know, testimonials, which we probably could bring on just to let, you know, people's experience with them. Um, and I think that's one of a couple of things that we're going to do is probably start bringing on some testimonials with BH Healthy, um, let people know their experience with taking themselves from a natural state or not a natural state, um, medicine state. And again, nothing against medicine. It does a lot of wonderful things into a natural just as Mindy has proposed with the <coughs> oils. So maybe we're going to bring on um, in, a, in the near future a um, couple of people that really had such a good experience with them. But uh, here we are, episode two, Melinda's um, with essential oils. In episode one, she kind of gave a little bit of a background about the oils and, and how they're you know taken out of the plants and they're distilled. And her couple of personal experiences of these oils and, and the energy of these oils, the oils themselves, with her son and her father. And today she's kind of going to dive into deeper more of the oils themselves, their categories, and some just um, everyday things that happen, or not every day, every, you know, maybe headaches and colds and things like that. <clears throat> She's going to share Bye. with you her experience as well as um, family members, friends, and that sort. And myself, again, I'm I'm a huge, you know, oil freak. i um, as you saw in the last episode. I have a problem with extremeness. You think you tell? <laughs> but uh, here I am, still on my oils, doing my fasting, which I'm feeling phenomenal with, and. Um, I love the lemon oils and the citrus oils. They're like, as Mindy had said in the first episode, very uplifting. And I, I love being uplifting all the time. Sometimes I don't sleep. I'm so uplifted. But anyhow, man, go ahead. Um, why don't you, you know, just kind of start where you feel comfortable, and then trickle down to let everybody, in layman's terms, understand. I, okay. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Um, again, I want to remind everybody that anything that is said here today is not meant to replace a doctor. If you feel that you're suffering from disease, illness, or injury, definitely um, seek the attention of a medical professional. Um, okay, so I guess the, the best place to start, in my opinion, um, is with like the toolbox what I call my toolbox it's my my that's the best I I have two maintenance men in my house so I guess toolbox is fairly fitting this is just my mama toolbox and um, it's the basic oils that I feel we use all the time for the most uh, common ailments um, I think every house should have these oils in some kind of combination, whether it's the single oils or in a blend. Um, and I'll try and kind of go through why. Uh, I guess I'll read them off first. Um, lavender is important. Lemon, peppermint, uh, melaleuca, which is also known as tea tree oil oregano, frankincense, and then I, use, I have several different blends um, that have a combination of, of different oils. One is a, uh, a, a, a soothing blend, which we use for like pain, um, a respiratory blend, we use a digestive blend, and then we also have a protective blend um, 
which is just a, a daily you a clean with it everything so the reason that we have lavender is the, a lot of the common uses are for burns uh, it helps relieve stress helps the kiddos sleep helps mommy sleep <laughs> um, so but believe it or not it can also help you with insomnia so it seems like it's one or the other but your body, your metabolism, the cell, cellular structure knows what it is that you need at the time. Um, and it, it kind of does its own thing. It's the magic of the body. Um, you can, with, with lavender, you can, as long as you have a, a pure oil, and, you know, let me stop for a second. There are so many oils out there on the market right now, it's very difficult to know if you're getting the right oil or not. When I talk about the oils that I use versus the oils that you would pick up, say, at your local box store or grocery store or even... Are you allowed to... Excuse me, everybody. Are you allowed to say who you use? Because, I, you know, I and, 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 and I'm hoping you can because... It is extremely important for people to understand because I just read an article or, or some, and, uh, yeah, I think it was an article that somebody really poisoned themselves with some um, oils that they got from one of a department store that here we are, you trust. And um, I, I know that the oils that Mindy has, you can actually ingest and there is only about two companies, maybe three out there that I'm aware of that actually say, go ahead, you can ingest them. That's how pure they are. And people think that grade A means something. It doesn't, it doesn't mean shit. So are you allowed to say who, who we use? Am I um, who I use? It's, you can find it in my bio. I'm not sure if I can't. Well, you know what? I'm okay, going to take you can, all right let's leave it at that let's keep leave it it's in my it's in my bio there there are many Highly there suggest. are many reputable companies out there that do have the, the the certified pure and organic oils um you just have to do your research you have to remember that it. when a, a bottle says pure oil that doesn't mean that it's pure. It can have one drop of oil in it. And because of the way the government has written its laws. Um, okay. Let's not get in that subject. Keep going up. I just, um, when we start talking about government stuff in the FDA and it's crazy, I, it makes me crazy as you can see. So I'm, um, um, you just want to be aware um any oil that you can take internally will actually be it'll have it on the bottle and it will be marked uh let me see if i have one i'll just cover up the name yep yeah i'm looking at mine i'm, I'm actually looking at mine and uh yeah and it's there do you I mean, see people, can you see that you. it says yeah. supplemental it has right. the supplemental facts on it, and it tells you that you can. Now, both oils that I have right here next to me, you can take internally, so I don't have one to show you that's, that's different than that. Um, but you, you will see on the bottle somewhere, it will tell you supplemental information, just like you would find on a box of food, and okay. it will you know, it, it tells you uh, the drops, the serving, um, how much per serving, calorie free, and it, that's the information that you'll find. Um, so to go on with the toolbox, uh, that I just felt it was very important that you understand that like the, the synthetic, what you, what's out there on the market, 90% of the time, my own numbers, is going to be synthetic um it's your your fragrances your perfumes your air fresheners your plugins the different things that you find the the aerosols those aren't oils they're oil smells 
their, their fragrant smells. Um, then you move into a next level, like I was telling you, um, where it, it may have oil in it, but how was the oil extract, extracted from the plant? Was it distilled? Was it done with gases? Um, because gases to extract the oil, gas, gases are faster. So now you have um, contaminants in it. So again, it takes away the purity. And then you get into um, where it's, it's checked and triple checked, um, your therapeutic grade. Now it can also say therapeutic grade on it and still go back, step back and be gas, you know, gas um, distilled. And you, you don't want that. So you just have to check and do research is due diligence. But that's, you know, and like I said, there I, I have one company that I work with that has my whole heart uh, because of uh, the transparency of the company it just my company I, I do prefer it but there are a couple oils that my company does not offer that I have gone outside and checked and found with a, 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 a different company so they're they're out there there are multiple companies out there and you just have to find what works best for you great Great. Thank yeah. you for all that information. All right. You guys, it's yep. really important. The information she's telling you, not just to, you know, waste time, but it's really. No, to you can do more harm than, than good. Yeah. You think you're going out and you want to, you want to jump on the bandwagon. You want to improve your health. You have learned that essential oils are a fabulous way to add to your arsenal of health care. And you go to the store, you find the, the, the top, five oils, your, your lavender, your peppermint, the few things that you want, that doesn't mean that you can use them all three ways, which is extremely important. Just because it says it's pure, just because it's therapeutic, if it has the contaminants in it, you're going to do your body harm versus good that you're trying to do. You're not going to have the aha moment. You're going to feel like you wasted your money. You're going to end up in the hospital because you poisoned yourself. You know, there's so many, so many things there. So just always keep your heads up because you. Good point. Good point. Okay. Now keep going. Go to your little toolbox there. I love hearing about all this stuff. Okay. That combination. Right. We'll start off with like the headache and then go to the cold. You know, people know about all that. Well, okay. So I, the, like the lemon, we, we talked about the lemon. It's good for disinfecting. It's good with insect repelling. Uh, worked with that this summer. Um, the peppermint, peppermint is great for fevers and headaches. So, so if you have a headache, put a little bit of peppermint on the back of your neck and in the palm of your hand. And inhale, it's kind of hard to show you, but you, you would put a couple drops in the palm of your hand, rub them together, and then just bring it up to your nose and your mouth and inhale. And if you do that, you will actually, one thing I I've get a kick out of with a peppermint, and it never fails me, is if you breathe it in with an open mouth, it almost feels um, like when you're outside in the cold and you take that first cold breath. Yes! You yes. can actually feel it. That's that's what the peppermint reminds me. And peppermint's good with respiratory as well. But peppermint helps with headaches. You can put a little bit up on the temple, put it back at your hairline. Instead of close to your eye, peppermint will burn the eyes. Uh, so you have to be very careful how much you eyes, use, everybody. Emily. Yeah, yeah, okay, here we go. Perfect example. But I got a question for you. Yeah. Lady, use it for the headaches, but... Like when I work out and everything, my shoulders are, I, you know, my shoulders have been a problem for a while from accident and, and surgery, you know, things that have gone on. Can I take that peppermint oil and put it? Absolutely. On? Okay. So, I, okay. So I can take it and if I'm having shoulder pain, I can just two or three drops. I understand. Take it yeah. and do it in that put area. Put it in the palm of your hands. The best thing to do is. 
Yep, the best thing to do is actually dilute it down with um, a, a carrier oil. A carrier oil is... Is that the coconut the, oil thing that you get? Yeah, the coconut oil, almond oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil. Um, they're natural oils as well. That, um, you can also, if you have a lotion that you use, you can use your lotion. Okay. What it does is it helps keep it on the skin longer and keep it so it's not evaporating as quickly so you'll get longer lasting effects by using it with a carrier oil that's great so, but okay, the peppermint the is actually the muscle yeah. pain. that's good you know that's really good men because i love it i love this smell because not only am i going to relieve my muscle pain i'm really going to at the same time give myself you know just like a little bit of a, a, a lift opposed to and this is me everybody taking a pill with you know synthetics and chemicals and stuff and putting it in my body I, i'm getting such a you're getting such there's just so many advantages to doing it this way and guys just try it just just try what do you got to lose they're not going to hurt you but go ahead man go to the next yeah, thing you'll be amazed you'll be amazed with it and peppermint's also good for your oral health so use it with your baking soda it's good. It helps fight. It, it may fight off gum disease. I have to be may careful how I say it. I can't breath? make any claims. <laughs> does, does it get rid of the garlic breath? Because we know they, how much Emily likes garlic. What do you think? Do you think there's a, a possibility that it helps with garlic? There is a possibility it may help you, yes. <laughs> okay. <Woo -hoo. laughs> um, then the other one that we have in, in the toolbox is Melaleuca. Um, which another name for it is tea tree oil, depending on, you know, which company you're with or where you're buying it. Mm -hmm. um, the, the tea tree oil comes from the Melaleuca plant. So we just go with the, the name Melaleuca, but that's good for cold and flu season. It helps when you have ear pain. Um, it's good for skin disorders. Um, I know that I had used it for, I had a, a toe that was getting a little funky. I had, I had um, injured it years ago. So I was fighting with like ingrown toenail and whatnot. Yeah. And somebody recommended that I use the tea tree oil, the Melaleuca. I did and had amazing results. Um, it helps fight uh, fungus. Oregano is another oil. And what I like about my oregano oil, oregano is nature's antibiotic it is the one that just kind of gives the pow to the to anything that you're you're blending and it's really good because you can cook with it too i use it when i'm cooking that's funny i don't know if i mentioned this to you or not and who knows purdue had a commercial on and said that they don't give their animals or anything antibiotics and the girl held up we use oregano. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. Oregano helps with immune support system and infections, and it, it kills off infections. And while I'm, I'm trying that? to stay as FDA compliant, uh, you can take it internally. It's considered a, a hot oil, so you can actually feel the heat of the oil i mean like literally it's it's hot we used it my my daughter had a wart on her hand and we put it directly on her hand and you can feel the burn like it looks like you're going to get a third degree burn so if you are using the oregano topically you have to dilute it like one drop of oregano to five drops of a carrier oil it's oh, wow. that that potent and then I can rub yeah. it on my tummy for digestive? Uh, yeah, no, not the oregano. I wouldn't do the oregano so much for digestive. Um, what do you do then? I, I tend to use oregano more during cold and flu season. And I actually do use it in a blend that I take internally daily. Okay, so it is but, internally any way you look at it, all right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. And I guess everything on your, like everybody that links to you and things like that, 
do you have on your blogs and things like this is how you use this one this is how you use the other one or can yes. I email you and if I contact? absolutely they okay. can email me um, they can reach me through social media it's you know they'll find how to reach me. okay that's good why don't we do a one two three water because it sounds like you need it and I know I do you and probably sneak that oregano <laughs> But I, I do try and explain how to use it, and if I don't uh, explain it, I have resources that are listed for you. Wonderful. Okay. So, um, okay. So the oregano. Then we have. Oh, love this. This is the the frankincense. Have to love frankincense. When in doubt, use Frank. Okay. I use That's it for boo-boos. We use it. We use it for boo-boos. We use it during cold season. We use it in our beauty routines. Um, uh, I've used it with with uh, in conjunction, like with the peppermint for pain. Um, so it has many many uses as well. Uh, then I have a, a combination. The one that I was telling you about for like the soothing. The soothing blend, it has different blend. Well, you know what, we won't get into the blends because the, the blends can differ. You can make your own blends. And like I was explaining in the first episode with my son, what works for one person might not work for another. Well, let so me ask you something. Do you, you think we should do a blend episode? You want to do the individuals right now just to familiarize people? Do you want to do a blends episode for people who really want to dive in deeper? Or do you prefer them just we, to... Um, we could do that. We could, okay. we could do a blended episode at another time. Absolutely. Why don't we shoot that? We'll do the, the single oils. The only, the only one that I, I just really feel is important is the protective blend. And um, that the, the protective blend helps kill off... I mean, it, it's actually been in labs. It's been lab tested. Uh, John Hopkins University and Vanderbilt have done multiple lab tests with this protective blend, um, and it, it it's a must. So it's well, here's what I'm thinking. How about we show people? Like let's let's do a couple of the blends, and you really just show people how you blend them, and use the coconut oil or whatever. We can do that, and then explain a couple of the blends. For people to get an understanding and see how easy it is to do. Well, I have this brilliant idea. Uh, I could use a uh, vacation and come on over to the side of the river and we could do it uh, in your studio. Oh, that would be fun. So let's go ahead and set up a okay, date for we'll all that. of our we viewers can, um... because I think it's important to see the blends and why you blend things and not just the single oils as well. We'll try to coordinate with Mary Margaret, too, because we wanted to do some holiday uh, bacon. And I know you're wonderful with that. So well, let's talk about that. That'll be awesome, guys. Look at that. You made us make another episode because of you. Love you. <laughs> I'm trying to. No, no, that's okay. So those are those are basic toolbox oils. So the, 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 the lavender, lemon, peppermint, melaleuca, oregano, frankincense. They're ones that we use every day. And then we have um, like four different blends that I use. I have about 10 oils that are everydayers in my house. Okay. Um, for your, your tummy, you were talking about like tummy issues. I definitely have a blend that we use that. It's a digestive blend. And the digestive blend has uh, ginger, peppermint, tarragon, fennel, caraway, coriander, and anise. Amazing. And what you do with that is just really basic. It's mixed, I, it's diluted down with a carrier oil. In my case, I use the fractionated coconut oil. And um, I, it can be diffused. And one thing that's really cool about that particular blend, it's also good for um, seasonal discomfort. So if you aromatically use it, and you put, I didn't realize I was moving away from the camera, guys, sorry about that. Um, you can put a little bit across the bridge of your nose. Be careful. It does have the, the peppermint in it, so it will be strong. Um, 
but it kind of can open up your, your breathing passages as well. Um, but typically what we do is we put it on the tummy itself, or you can take this particular blend internally. Uh, when I feel a little uh, nauseated, I will put it in a capsule and take it down instead of taking a, an over-the-counter antacid. I like this better. Um, I also have found in, in our case when um, we have tummy trouble or like somebody's constipated, it helps them and it helps make things get moving. Um, and believe it or not, it helps with the, the opposite end. Like I said, the body is a pretty magical wonder itself and it can help with the, the loose bowels as well. But the, the ginger, the peppermint, they're just, they're all, all amazing. Fennel, good things for your tummy. All right, that's, you know, that is just terrific. And, and where they're coming from, it's, it's so beautiful. And people take it so used to grabbing the ant ass. And, and people just don't realize the destruction it does. And then they're wondering, you know, it's not an immediate, but over time they've done so much damage beyond repair and it pulls in disease. Well, think about it, Emily. Like, especially with the tummy issues, when you were a child and if you had what I call throw up disease, you got ginger ale and some saltines, soda crackers. And that was to help with the nausea and help calm your stomach down. Well, ginger ale in old fashioned cases and actually now I think Canada Dry puts real ginger in their, their soda, but it's ginger. So it's natural that that would be in a digestive blend, you know, to, to help with the, the stomach, the help with the nausea, nausea and the um, motion sickness. It helps with motion sickness. So yeah, that's, that's, back to what grandma used to give you when you weren't feeling good. I, I know. I, I know. We've gotten so away from basics and there's, there's a price to be paid for everything that you're not doing correctly. And, and the price is disease. The price is loss of life, loss of living. And, and if you get disease and then you can't work, it just brings such a whole thing of it. So mm -hmm. your efforts with the oils and my efforts, you know, for people who are listening, if you're listening, whether to us here on these episodes or out there, then you've got to, you know, you can be up there in triple digits. Like Dr. Wayne said, our body is designed to live to for 125 years. If we're taking care of it and allowing it to do the beautiful things that it does by rejuvenating itself, that's why I'm doing this fast. This fast actually is, it's just a, a cleansing and it, it, it's really a fascinating thing to go through um, and it lets your body reset itself. It gives it that, you know, it, it gives it that chance. So I do this, I, I do this once a year for four or five days, and then I do it once a week. And, um, you know, and that's going to be a whole up other episode I do with Dr. Wayne because he's much more in tune with it. But, um, just staying with basics, guys. We've gotten so far away from it. We have to give our bodies that fight and chance. I mean, our souls live here. One body, man, one life. So, you know, these oils and everything that we're doing and bringing to you is really for you to get your life balanced and to really get your head out of your ass and go take a look at this stuff and, and see why not. You know, right. you're, it's just so important. So you, anything you want to wrap up with? Because we're um, we're gonna. You know. I definitely want to get into the blends next time. So oh, when awesome. once we get offline, let's. I'm gonna come down and and hang out, and we'll mix up some blends together. Do something fun and show people. Um, the 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 neat thing, and I I found this when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about today. Um, there's it's. It's quoted, and honestly, I can't tell you where it's quoted from. It's one of those things that has gone from one person to another person, but it still it says what it needs to say. Um, 
there's many individual oils that are known to kill germs, but when mixed together, they work in synergy. And that's the, the most important thing when we talk about blends. They're, they're blended together for a reason. Each has its own wonderful quality and property. And then when it's put together, it gives it that pow bang effect and just, you know, does triple time of what it needs to do. So that's, that's what I wanted to let you know about the, the, um, the blends and why it's important we show your TV audience. Well, you know what? And that's a perfect thing to wrap up with on that note. It's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. It gives everybody something to think about. So here you are at the Bouncy right. Act of Life, finishing up episode two that is now turning into episode three in the next coming weeks with blending of the oils and the essential of essential oils. So show yourself love, balance your life, show your family kindness and love, and you just can't go wrong. Thank you, Mindy, so much for sharing all this. I learn so much every time. I love doing this. It's just like, I learned so much, but again, thank, thank you. you. And DLB, shout out to you. Thank you, Roger, Rebecca, Luca, always thank you. And we look forward to just keep on rocking and rolling. See you guys later. Bye-bye. And thanks for listening. Bye-bye.